You might be looking at different St. Louis neighborhoods and wondering about Clayton versus University City. How are they different and how do they compare? In this video today, we are talking all about Clayton versus University City. So let's get into it. Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Jacob Pystrup. I figured I'd make this video because I feel like I get a lot of people asking me when moving to the St. Louis area, specifically the Clayton area, you know, hey Jacob, how is Clayton compared to University City? What's different? What's the same? And just what's it like to live there? So that is exactly what we're talking about in this video today with Clayton versus University City. So just to give you a general idea, Clayton and University City are two great areas in Mid County located in St. Louis County. They're right next to each other. They are neighboring cities, so they're similar in some ways. Clayton's on the south, the University City is on the north, so they have their, their similarities, but they're also two different areas. They have different personalities, and it's just a different feel to live in each one. So that is exactly what we're talking about in this video today. How do they compare, and what are the differences between Clayton and University City? As you might imagine, they're pretty similar being right next to each other, but they can also be completely different areas to live in. Overall, Clayton tends to be more urban. It has a more urban city-like feel to it, and it tends to have more expensive houses and condos for sale. So higher median sold price in Clayton compared to U City. And then University City is less urban. It's not as urban and city-like as Clayton, and it tends to have you know lower prices for houses and condos. University City is also twice the size of Clayton. It's over twice the size geographically and has over twice the population of Clayton. So University City is just a bigger area overall when comparing to Clayton. Both areas tend to have more older houses, you know, the older, more traditional brick style home. You see that a lot in both Clayton and University City. Clayton tends to be the area that has more new development happening, more new construction, both residential and commercial. So Clayton has more new stuff being built than University City. But still, when you compare it to out west like Chesterfield and Wildwood, those areas are where you will see a lot more new construction, not so much in Clayton or University City. Clayton and University City both tend to be on the older side when it comes to what kind of house you can buy. Clayton has a median sold price of 688,000. This is from the last six months of data, and it usually fluctuates somewhere between 600 and a million, depending on where the market's at, but that's overall the median sold price in Clayton. Clayton has its own school district. Clayton High is gonna be the local high school in Clayton, which is ranked number two out of 48 high schools in St. Louis County by niche.com. So Clayton is up there as far as rankings for public schools. The biggest attraction in Clayton, I'd say, is definitely the dining scene. There's a Capitol Grill, steakhouse, sushi bar, creperie. There's a calzone place. You can find any kind of food you want in Clayton. Italian, seafood, American, I mean, it is all right there in Clayton. And why do people move here? People come to Clayton because they love that urban lifestyle and they can afford the pricier homes and apartments that are in Clayton compared to the surrounding areas. It does tend to be more expensive. And what you might not like about Clayton is one, it can be expensive, like I just said, and two, some people aren't the biggest fan of having the county jail located in downtown Clayton. So that's something to consider. Clayton is one of my favorite areas in St. Louis County. It has a very urban feel to it. Tons of mid-rise and high-rise buildings, it feels like its own miniature city. Now, this isn't St. Louis City, that's a different area, so Clayton kind of feels like its own city in itself. Clayton has tons of commercial space for businesses in the area. If you work in an area like accounting, finance, law, commercial real estate, insurance, anything like that, a lot of that tends to be in Clayton. Clayton also has the high-end hotels, townhomes, and condos of St. Louis County. The food scene in Clayton is definitely a huge selling point, especially if you live within a walking distance to downtown Clayton. I mean, a lot of places are a five to 10 minute walk to downtown Clayton where you have all the food that you want. You've got some fun, cash places to eat if you want to grab a bite with a friend or a colleague and then you also have your high-end more expensive fine dining if you got someone to impress you know a business meeting whatever you have you want to meet at a steakhouse a sushi bar a grill whatever you want you can find your pricier options for food in Clayton as well so it really has the whole range of dining in Clayton Clayton really is a great place to just walk around find a place to eat and grab some food Clayton is also home to one of the top public school systems in Missouri, with Clayton High being ranked number two by niche.com in St. Louis County. Clayton and Ladue have the two top public school systems in St. Louis. They usually compete for the spot of number one. Right now, Ladue is ranked number one, but I mean, it's really just a matter of who's gonna be number one and who's gonna be number two. Ladue and Clayton go back and forth. Clayton is also next to Washington University, which is a beautiful campus. If you've never seen it before, it is gorgeous. Beautiful buildings, beautiful architecture, and beautiful landscaping everywhere. It's a really cool campus, and it's one of the best universities in the 
the country that happens to be located right next to Clayton. And because of that, there's a decent amount of students and working professionals, you know, who live in the Clayton area to be close to campus. For housing in Clayton, you will have a lot of condos and houses if you're looking to purchase. The condos are gonna start at one or $200,000 and they can go up into the multiple millions of dollars if you're looking for a penthouse experience in Clayton. A single family house in Clayton will probably be more expensive than a condo. You're probably gonna be looking at $700,000 and going up from there. The median sold price in Clayton, like I said before, is $688,000, but that number takes into account both houses and condos. The median sold price of houses in Clayton is $853,000. So if you eliminate condos, the median price goes up. If you just look at condos, the median is 356. So you can see the difference between prices in houses and prices in condos. If you want an apartment or a condo or a multifamily unit, you see a lot more of that in Clayton than University City. University City has more single family houses. They do definitely have options for condos and multifamily. It just has a lot more single family houses than Clayton, where Clayton has a pretty healthy mix between both apartments, condos, and houses. And regardless of whether you're looking at houses or condos in Clayton, if you want a luxury high-end property, you have options for both condos and houses. If you want your $3 million penthouse, you can find that in Clayton. If you want a four, five, six million dollar house, you can find a luxury estate in Clayton as well. Probably gonna be in Carswold or Brentmore Park. Those are two of pretty much the top neighborhoods in all of St. Louis that are in Clayton. So Carswold and Brentmore Park are right next to each other and those are where you see the biggest, most expensive houses in Clayton. Those two neighborhoods are going to have your luxury options in Clayton where they basically have some of the top real estate in all of St. Louis. If you want something newer, there are new townhomes and houses being built in Clayton gonna cost you upwards of $1.5 million for a top of the line brand new house if that's what you want. It's gonna be probably in the $1.5 to $2 million and above range in Clayton. You do see a lot of older homes in Clayton too. Same with University City. University City has more older homes. Uh, Clayton has more new stuff being built right now. So if you want a luxury high-end home or a town home, those are what you will see in Clayton if you want something brand new. Now, if you like Clayton, but you don't wanna pay the price for it, you might wanna check out an area right next to it like University City, Brentwood or Richmond Heights. They're all in the same area and they have a similar feel to them. They're all, you know, different in their own ways, but they're just not as expensive as Clayton. Now let's talk about University City. So University City is, like I said before, it's bigger, both geographically, it takes up more space on the map and it has over twice the population that Clayton does. Clayton tends to be more densely populated. I mean, it's urban, it feels like you're in a city and University City feels more spread out, more single family homes and more green space outdoors if that's something that you're looking for. So University City just isn't as dense as Clayton. For parks, Clayton has Shaw Park, which is right next to downtown Clayton, and it has Oak Knoll Park, which is smaller. You know, there's a walking trail that goes through. It's just not as big as Shaw Park, but University City has a lot more options for green space and parks. In University City, you have Heman Park, which also has the Centennial Commons and a community pool. There's the Ruth Park Golf Course. There's Lewis Park, which is located right on Del Mar. There's also the University City Dog Park, which is super cool if you have pets. Those are some of the big ones. University City has a bunch of small or more neighborhood parks, so more outdoor space if that's something that you're looking for. So University City, judging by the name, also known as U City, just to make it shorter, this is the part of town right next to Washu. Same goes for Clayton, they're both right there next to Washu, so as you can imagine, you got a lot of students coming in. College kids, grad students, young professionals who just graduated and they're working in the St. Louis area, you see a lot of that in Clayton and University City right around campus. The other thing that's kind of funny that you'll notice about University City is that a bunch of the street names are named after universities, colleges from around the country. Purdue Ave, Princeton Ave, Harvard Ave, Trinity, Tulane, Yale, Dartmouth, Columbia, Cornell, Colgate, these are all street names that you'll see in University City. They're named after universities. Over the last six months in U City, you got a median sold price of $354,000, so a little bit less expensive compared to Clayton. Usually fluctuates between $300,000 and $500,000. University City has its own public school system with University City High being your local public public high school, ranked 23rd out of 48 by niche.com in St. Louis County. So you'll see a difference there when comparing the school rankings in Clayton to University City. So just something to keep in mind if you're moving to Clayton or U City and school system, is an important thing to you. The biggest attraction in U-City is by far the Del Mar Loop. This is the center for entertainment, shopping, eating, dining, there's live music, there's cultural events, there's just so much stuff going on in the Del Mar Loop. And why do people move here? It's very central to everything at a 
lower cost than Clayton. Now, what you might not like about U-City, although it's not as expensive as Clayton, you have older houses. Things tend to be older, they're not as updated, you don't have as much newly built in U-City compared to Clayton. You could definitely be looking at a 70, 80, 90 plus year old house in U-City, depending on where you are. The same thing goes for Clayton in some parts, you just have more older homes and not everybody likes that. You know, some people want something brand new and that can be difficult to find in U-City. Brick is the style you will see everywhere, both in U-City and Clayton. You got tons of brick houses, whether it's a ranch, a little bungalow, or a bigger traditional two-story. You know, you have a lot of brick style homes. You might see some that are stucco with that Mediterranean style, but you see that more in Clayton than U-City. U-City just has a bunch of brick homes. Brick is what you see everywhere. It's very common. That's the style in U-City, very traditional. That traditional floor plan, you don't have the open concept you see nowadays because these houses are older. So that's what you'll see a lot of in U-City. So U-City overall is less expensive than Clayton, but the most expensive parts of U-City are gonna be south of Del Mar that are all right next to downtown Clayton. You'll see a lot of neighborhoods and streets stemming off of downtown Clayton, and if you keep going far enough, they switch over to U-City once you cross the line between Clayton and U-City. That's where you see the most expensive U-City homes, the ones that are still right next to Clayton. So just to show you a visual of what I'm talking about, I have here pulled up Everything in the last nine months that has sold in University City, there's a couple green ones, those are what's currently for sale. The green lines are the municipalities, so everything here is University City. This is everything that's been sold in the last nine months. But if we look at sales just above 500,000, then you see a different story. You can see that most of the sales above 500,000 are south of Del Mar Boulevard. They're closer to Clayton. This green line is the cutoff between Clayton and U City. Now you can see there's a couple outliers here and a couple that are directly north of Del Mar, but the further north you go, you don't see anything above 500,000 in this area of University City. If you look at sales and listings above 800,000, you can see this even more clearly. Here's Del Mar Boulevard. Everything except for one has been sold south of Del Mar Boulevard. Now what you might be wondering is, is the opposite true? The answer is yes. If you look at sales below 200,000, you can see the opposite. They are all north of Del Mar Boulevard, except for this one thing right here, which I think these are condos. It's all north of Del Mar and primarily north of Olive Boulevard in University City. So these are all below 200,000. And I'm not trying to prove any point or make any argument by showing you this. This is simply to show you that University City is unique because it's an area where you will see different property values separated by different streets depending on where you are. And not every city is like that. But in University City, you will see those differences based on where in the city you are. U City feels very eclectic and artsy, whereas Clayton is more urban, more working professional given all the commercial space, the office buildings, and a bunch of companies that are headquartered in Clayton. So that's kind of the different personality you'll see between University City and Clayton. St. Louis does not have an official Chinatown, but there's a strip along Olive Boulevard in University City that's kind of an unofficial Chinatown. You have a bunch of Chinese restaurants, businesses, and grocery stores all located in the same area. So that's pretty cool. The most iconic place in University City that you should definitely come visit if you're ever in town is called the Del Mar Loop. The Del Mar Loop refers to this strip of Del Mar Boulevard in University City after this roundabout, where you have just a ton of restaurants and shops to go to. There's always some sort of live music going on on the weekends. There's just a ton of stuff going on in the loop, and there's so much fun stuff you can do spending a day in the loop. Del Mar Boulevard basically goes all the way from the start of University City in St. Louis County all the way into St. Louis City. But when people talk about the loop, they're just referring to a little segment in University City with all the shops and restaurants and fun stuff to do along Del Mar Boulevard. If you want just a fun place to go grab a bite to eat with friends and family and watch some live music while you're there, definitely go check out the Del Mar Loop. Clayton is where you'll see a lot more of your high-end expensive dining options and in the loop in U City, this is where you see just more fun, more casual options if you just want to spend a fun night out having dinner with the family. You get such a wide variety of people in the loop. I volunteered for over a year and a half for a nonprofit fair trade organization that was on Del Mar right in the middle of the loop. Unfortunately, after COVID and everything, I think they're, they're now shut down. 
but let me tell you on Friday and Saturday nights we would get some very interesting people that would come by the shop. I mean we would get all kinds of people both from St. Louis and from out of town. We were kind of a little shop. People would come in, look around, buy something for friends or family, but I mean we were open until 8 or 9 at night so around closing time we definitely would get some very interesting people on Fridays and Saturdays. There'd be people on occasion who would come in very clearly from one of the bars down the street, might have might have taken something, I don't know. I think the police got called once or twice, you know, just to make sure everything was all right, make sure they get home safely, but you definitely get a very wide variety of people in the loop. I don't say this trying to scare anybody, I just mean that you have a lot of different people in the loop. It's a pretty busy place, you got people coming there for the live music, the restaurants, the smoke loungers, the bars, whatever. There's a lot of people that come to the loop. And along the loop you'll see a bunch of smaller shops and local businesses. If you just want to shop around for a day and spend a day in the loop, you can definitely find a lot of stuff to fill your time with. Both Clayton and U-City have a great scene for small businesses and local people. There's tons of shops and restaurants to go to, and they have a ton of stuff to offer if you're moving to one of those areas. And as for housing, you can find whatever you want in both parts of town. You can find your dream home absolutely anywhere. Both Clayton and University City have such a blend of architecture and styles in the housing that you'll see. You have so many options when it comes to living in either Clayton or University City, whichever one you choose. Either way, they can both be a great fit for you and your family when moving to St. Louis. So that's going to wrap up this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this was helpful. If there are other cities you want to see me talk about in St. Louis in the future, feel free to let me know down below in the comments section of this video or check out another video that I have on other parts of town, other places in St. Louis to check out if you're moving to the St. Louis area. If you ever want to get in contact with me, my cell phone number is 314-527-3270. That is it right there. People reach out every single week saying, you know, hey Jacob, we're moving to the St. Louis area. Can you come show us some houses? Can you come talk about these areas? And I am always more than happy to talk to my YouTube viewers. So don't ever hesitate to give me a call, shoot me a text, whatever works for you if you want some help and I can see what I can do for you. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time. Take care.